Hey everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial slash exploit video. Today I'm going to show you how to get filthy rich, and as you just saw, I just got like uh, a million Gs. And of course, if you find this little guide helpful, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want more Ruin Factory 5 videos, of course. Alright, so you can do this in Spring Year 1, as long as you can invite Elshi with you on an adventure. And Elshi is right here. <laughs> so let's invite her along. Yeah. Thanks. Let's go on an adventure. Yeah, she's down for it. Alright. Now, when she does come along, warp to Kelv Lava Caves Floor 2. Kelvy Kelv. Alright, here we go. It's right here. And go to Floor 2. Alright, this is my favorite place to do this at, and it's one of the easiest as well to get damage. Because you need to get some damage. And if you're a little bit higher level, so then monsters don't do a lot. So make sure to get damage from the fire pillars. And don't destroy the monster spawn. You will need to be uh, in active combat mode to do this exploit, actually. So let's get some damage. Hopefully we will not get poisoned. Elsha got poisoned, which sucks. Eh. Come on, give me some damage. There we go. There we go, one more. Alright. So now we're down on health. Let's get uh, a cheap weapon or farm tool. I'm going to use the iron sickle. And then engage with, in a battle with a monster, which I'm already at. Uh, well, we're gonna equip this, alright? <clears throat> at some point, Elsha would throw food at you. If she's not in a battle. Uh, it might take it might take some time. Also, be sure to evade... Evade the food that she throws at you. Oh, there we go, okay. That's a Salmon on a Giri. We don't need that. But, we can take it. So, once you've avoided it, it will be on the floor. So, you can just grab it and have it in your inventory. Now she can throw different kinds of food as you just saw, like the salmon onigiri is one of them. Again, it might take some time. But you're going to be on a lookout for royal curry. And she will throw that as well at some point. And I just saw that the monster spawn is gone. That sucks. Alright, so those are pancakes. We don't need those. But it's always nice to just get free pancakes. Right? Come on, I'm still in battle, Elsha. Here we go. There you go. That's the royal curry. So you want this? The royal curry. So, if we're going to look at its stats. Look at that. <laughs> you can sell it for 500,000 Gs. That's what you need. So, once you have this curry, go back to your farm. Alright, so we're at our farm. Here we go. Look inside. We're gonna, well, just throw the pancakes in there as well, why not? Here we go, royal curry, put it in there. Now look. Estimated earnings, 503,120 Gs. Now, you can do this all day, and she might throw more royal curries at you, or, like, more other foods at you, it's, it's random. But, uh, there's a big chance you will throw the royal curry, and it's 500,000 each. So this is the exploit, basically. And again, if you like this guide, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on how you would make your money, and if you're going to use this method. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.